Short sale market update. Why this might not be the end to the housing crisis, part three. Short sale agent, default advocate, distressed property expert, and short sale specialist, Mike Wrigley here, bringing you the latest short sale information. Thanks for joining us. Short sale market update. Why this may not be the end of the market crisis, the housing market crisis, part three. Well, we talked about interest rates and what buyers were buying and why sellers weren't selling. Now let's wrap this up with inventory and jobs. Jobs first. The Sacramento Metroplex unemployment still stands at 10% plus or minus. Until it gets to 8% or better, we will not see any appreciable long-term real growth. Ask the experts. This temporary uptick will last as long as the investors are in. Once they pull back, and they will, we'll be right back to where we were before they came into the market. Jobs are key to any economic growth. Now, inventory. We talked last time about why sellers weren't selling, and now let's talk about the shadow inventory. <coughs> I'm not talking about property that's been foreclosed on and not released. There is much less of that than you would think. What worries me is, again, is in the greater Sacramento Metroplex, there are nearly 22,000 22, homeowners who are seriously delinquent on their mortgage. That's a 91 days plus or minus DQ. The cure rate is about 5%. That means that they're right at 21,000 homes that need to be either short sold or foreclosed on for the market to recover. That represents about an 18 month supply of homes. That doesn't even take into consideration the more than 190,000 homeowners who are still underwater. So, what to do? If you have equity and want to move out, do it now before it's too late. If you're a buyer, be patient, your turn will come, and you'll get that home of your dreams eventually. It may take several moves, but you'll get it if you're patient enough. And if you owe more than your home is worth, by 15% or more, take advantage of the favorable tax laws and get out while you can. The government is not going to bail you out. The government is not going to bail you out. Take your hit before you have to pay income taxes on the forgiven debt and start fresh. I certainly hope this helped. Again, it's my opinion based on the market conditions and having seen and survived several market corrections in the last 10 years. Now, to get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info for a free estimate or call me today for a free, no obligation consultation. Call me today, sleep better tonight, you'll be glad you did. Thanks for joining us.